All right, so I may or may not have a tackle problem. There's not much to do in the winter time when your lakes or rivers are frozen over and you can't catch fish. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do an unboxing. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've got some boxes over there. I've got some boxes over here, but we're talking about this box here today. What's inside this box here is pretty much everything that I wanted to pick up to focus on fishing the rivers, uh, specifically for smallmouth this coming year. Let's start off with the fun stuff. The Damiki anchovy shad. It's a four inch swim bait. That's all it is. Um, you can tell by the tail, it's pretty soft, so it should have a pretty good kick. Uh, it's almost got like a V shape to it. I really like the eyes on it and it really helps it stand out. Smallmouth bass love white swim baits. All right, let's try to stick with some swim baits. JDM brand, JDM brand. Man, when the hookup tackle has some sails, you just try to jump on it. The Rains Rock Vibe Shad. Now this is, I think the four and a half inch size or maybe even the five inch size. And this color is called Green Gizzard. These things stink. It looks like a decent little swim bit, right? Now look at it from a bird's eye view. Oh, she's fat and she's got ribs to her. Uh, I'm not afraid to throw a five inch swim bait for smallmouth bass. Uh, I was at the Columbus show. I was, there was a guide there, fishes tons of creeks and rivers in Ohio. His philosophy was you can't throw a swim bait big enough and you can't throw a crawfish small enough to catch and target some of the biggest smallmouth in these rivers. <clears throat> the very first smallmouth bass I ever caught in Indiana on a river was on a six inch swim bait with like a six aught owner beast hook in it. And it wasn't even a very big bass. He was like 16, 17 inches. So really looking forward to this. <clears throat> Again, you can tell how soft that plastic is. Should have a very wide tail kick. Um, it should do a really good job like staying in the water depth that I want because of how flat that body shape is. Interested to see how it does in the current. Trying to stick with the swim bait pattern here. Oh, this is this is one. Whew. This is the Depths Silent Killer 115 size. This is a crank down that is just beautiful looking look at that thing and it's got the new coating that all of the depth swim baits have right now so it's almost silent it's got the soft like flexible coating so when it goes from side to side there's not there's no clicking sound the only real sound you hear on this is just from the hooks and the split rings moving around but again that's the depths silent killer that color it some it looks like some sort of chartreuse iu it's it's a little brighter in the camera than it is in real life but i think that thing is going to get chewed up i'm hoping it does weighs about three quarters of an ounce cast it on any type of tackle picked up some new terminal this is the picasso single barrel underspin <clears throat> i love picasso's head shape on that it's got a two watt hook this is a 3 8 size. Uh, it does come with an extra blade, so I don't want to lose that. But instead of it being a hard underspin that hangs below, it's a soft underspin. So it's got some movement. It's a small blade. If this ever comes off, it comes with an extra one in the package. That's pretty cool. But you can tell by that little 2 watt hook, that's going to fit a 3 inch, 4 inch swim bait just perfectly. Let's move on to spinner baits. I'm a spinner bait guy, have been my whole life. Um, some of these are domestic, some of these are JDM. We will start with the Phoenix Pro Series spinner bait. This is a half ounce. It's got some smaller blades on there and it's a compact spinner bait, so it's kind of made for burning. And uh, that's really what I want to try. This in the river, burning it around laydowns and uh, eddies. And what I've learned is that smallmouth like things that are moving pretty quick. And I've heard that smallmouth love chartreuse. I love throwing a spinnerbait. Picked up a couple other, the Mega Bass SV3 spinnerbait, my very first one. Again, it's another compact spinnerbait. This is in a bluegill pattern. I'd be throwing this in really clear water. You can tell, like look at the size of my hand, it's not a giant spinnerbait. It's got those custom blades. These are actually like black nickel blades. Uh, which I'm really excited to throw, especially on those overcast days, because I think it's going to show up better in the water. It's got the kind of built-in trailers 
looks pretty cool. And then the very last one is the Jackal Dune spinner bait. I think all of these are in half ounce size. That way I can retrieve them pretty quick. There's the Jackal Dune. Really interesting little head shape on there. Again, not a giant spinner bait. Uh, looks like some custom blades. Uh, I really like that color. I love that blue glimmer type pattern for largies. Not sure if it's going to work for smallies, but we're going to try it out. Last year, if you watched my fall feed video, I lost my favorite Nichols Pulsator Swimmer Spinnerbait in Blue Shad. So I kind of picked this up to replace it. There are some more spinnerbaits. I got these for the river, but I also got these for creeks because I do plan on hopefully getting together with Greg from Puddle Walkers this year and starting to fish some creeks. But these are some downsized versions of spinnerbaits. It's called the Rocket Shad, and I've thrown these before. I just don't have any. But you can see that's a super small, compact, single-bladed spinnerbait that's made for fishing fast. That's a perch pattern, and then that's a shad pattern. Right, these I can throw in the creeks and in the rivers, and this this guy's really just for the creeks. It's your typical strike king, mini king, weighs in at like one eighth of an ounce. You could throw it on six, eight pound test and still catch smallies on spinnerbaits. I think that's it for spinnerbaits. Let's get into swim jigs. Uh, this is new to the market, Missile Baits Ike's Mini Swim Jig. When I first saw this, I thought I was gonna be throwing this on spinning tackle, but I will definitely be throwing this on bait casting tackle, but look at that. Look at the size of that swim jig. That is gonna be perfect paired up with a little four, three inch, four inch white swim bait or double tail grub. That color, it's got like a, a ghost purple and chartreuse in there. I forget the name of it, bombshell. Yeah, I'm hoping that uh, drops some bombshells on some giant small mouths in the river. I keep listening to anglers on YouTube, especially guys that have way more river fishing experience than I do, like Rich over at Hella Bass or Matt Stefan. These guys that fish the Mississippi for smallmouth all the time, and they're always talking about throwing a swim jig. What else? I've never been a huge crankbait guy. Really love flat-sided crankbaits. I fished the Little John last year in a shad pattern, loved it, caught smallies on it, and I went ahead and picked up a couple more. Root beer chartreuse, and then this is spring craw. What I really love about this, small profile bait, right? It's like two and a half inches. It weighs half an ounce, so it's not hard to cast. I can't stand going to cast something on bait casting gear and it floating like a potato chip in the air. Drives me crazy. That doesn't happen with these guys. I like JDM baits. I like them even better when they're on sale because frankly, they're just costly. Evergreen, Flat Force, Albino Crawl. Again, a flat-sided crankbait that weighs 5 eighths of an ounce. Can cast it on anything nice and flat. No rattles, completely silent, except for the split rings. Albino craw, you can see it's got that ghost pattern, black, green, that natural, I just came out of hibernation pattern, and then, hey, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm starting to get ready to mate, and then it's got that circuit board lip on there. Pretty sexy little bait from Evergreen. I think that's it for current baits. We'll get into the custom stuff at the end because I do have a couple of custom baits in here. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you've seen the bait tank video. We did the OSP Doe Live shot in there. It's like a giant TRD ticklers. I think it's about five inches. Uh, it's a really good gliding bait and darting bait. That's kind of how I'm going to be fishing it, either on a Neko rig or weightless Ned rig, something along those lines. It's got that chartreuse, small mouth, love to destroy chartreuse. So we'll see if that gets it done for smallies on the river. Got a couple of jigs. Picked up the, the Z-Man cross size power finesse jig. Three eighths of an ounce green pumpkin, three eighths of an ounce peanut butter jelly, but these are really small jigs guys. And that's why I like them because like I said before, downsize craw, upsize bait fish, go from there. Now, this weed guard definitely needs to be trimmed, but it's got a small hook. It's like a one-aught, maybe a two-aught at the biggest. Got a trimmed skirt, really, really, really small profile. Uh, and I can throw a two and a half or a three inch crawfish bait on there, keep it small, but it's got the weight where it can still pitch it and it's got a fast fall. And that's really, really important to me. But you can see the head shape there. Um, it's kind of like a casting 
head shape. Hopefully it doesn't get hung up in the rocks. Z-Man Power Finesse, is that even a thing? We'll find out. Picked up some terminal for the swim baits. Owner Flashy Swimmer, that's a 3 16 ounce with a three out hook. That's gonna fit a three or a four inch swim bait really, really well. Gold blade, like gold blades in the river. That's the Colorado version. This is the Willow version. When swim bait hooks are on sale, jump on it. Gamagatsu, round ball, two out. Can never go wrong with these, especially for three inch spark sheds. Oh, did I say that out loud? Those small mouth don't like those. Don't listen to that. Just let's delete that from the video. Owner blockheads, EWG weedless. Way well, you guys can throw your favorite neds without getting hung up. I'm gonna be featuring these on some custom videos coming up because I've got some plans for these that involve ned rigs on steroids. And, <clears throat> but yeah, I wanted to pick some of those up. They come in all different sizes. This is 3 16 so I could fish it in the river in current, but I could also fish it in 10 foot of water in lakes for larges. This is actually a saltwater lure, Redfish Magic Spinnerbait. This is a giant oversized beetle spin. If you guys don't know what a beetle spin is, ain't been fishing long enough. I grew up fishing beetle spins for largemouth bass in Boca Raton, Florida. But there you go, giant oversized beetle spin. I think that's gonna work well for smallmouth. I think that's gonna work well for creeks too. Getting into the last of the baits, the Rage Tail, Rage Menace is a huge go-to for me. This is a large mouth killer. This is a small mouth killer. Uh, it works great as a traw trailer or, or even a TRD, but that color right there, people, green pumpkin, copper, purple is going to get it done for you in any state in the country. So let's talk about Skinny Boy Lures. There's his business card, Skinny Boy Lures. These are all knockoff baits with custom paint jobs. We've got a Whopper Plopper in a matte bluegill, and I just absolutely love that. I love these matte finishes when they do not have a reflective coating on them. I think they just look way more natural, and I love that little accent that he's given to the plopper itself that it almost resembles the color of a tail. But this is obviously the Whopper Plopper 75 size, which is perfect size for smallmouth, but you've still got that big tail like the 110. That guy's looking pretty sweet. I will definitely include Skinny Boy Lures contact information in the video details below, because we've got a couple more baits coming out from him now. This is kind of one of those, it's like one of those baby bull shads. It's a multi-segmented, but it's in a sweet crappie pattern. Rattles as well. Uh, gonna be throwing that for largies. Gonna see if the pattern works for smallmouth in the rivers, because I know there's smallmouth, I know there's crappie in creeks, and there's smallmouth in creeks, so I'd imagine that smallmouth are probably feeding on anything. I think they're like the bulldozers of the water system, you know what I mean? That pattern just looks fantastic. And, you know, he sent me some pictures. He's like, do you like it? Yeah, I'd like for you to do this and this and this. And he's like, do you like it? I'm like, oh, there's a little bit more. So, you know, he's really, really, really accommodating. His customer service is top notch. I've ordered from him a couple of times and I can't recommend him enough to you guys. Now, this I'm super pumped about. I've never fished one of these before. I've never done a swim test on one of these before until today. And it wasn't even this lure. But this is the Evergreen Glide Bait knockoff. And look at that color. This is going to work double duty for me. So I've got a lake around here with rainbow trout and it's, it's got largemouth bass in it. But I thought that this color pattern would work really, really well in the rivers as well. Number one, it's really, really natural. We've got, you know, lots of different types of bait fish in these rivers. We don't just have shad. If you guys have never seen one of these evergreen glide baits in the water, just wait until we do a sink or swim later in the year. Um, you guys are gonna be blown away by the action that this has, especially for a budget-minded glide bait. Once again, that's the last guy from Skinny Boy Lures in his rainbow trout pattern. That's it, that's everything. There's nothing more in this box. These are most of the baits that I've picked up for rivers this year, and I'm interested to know, have you fished any of these? Do they work? What do you think about them? What's the quality? Do they hold up? Was there something here that you've seen here today that was your first time seeing and that you've never seen before and you wanna get some more information about it? If this is your first time here, do me a favor, smash that like button, ring that bell, so you can get more content like this, you get more content like the, the bait tank, river content, smallmouth content, 
bank fishing, kayak fishing, largemouth, you name it, we do it. I fish Indiana, I fish Michigan, I fish Illinois. Hopefully I'll be fishing some Ohio. And we fish ponds, rivers, creeks, lakes. We try and do all of it. Thanks for watching. Peace out.